Last time on the dive shop, we were dealing with a spate of injuries with the diving crew, meaning Gary was the last man standing. We also showcased some of the new jewellery items Alex had been making too. Finally, it was our last video of 2020, and we did a quick review of the year. It's not as though there have been that many highlights. This week on the dive shop, Dean takes the lead, Nora reviews her new Cressy equipment, Christmas and New Year's activities under COVID restrictions, and the jetty breaks a mooring. Last year, Dean completed his dive master course, and we've started the process of transitioning him from being a boat skipper to also leading dives and supporting on training courses. Of course, with the numbers of divers being so low at the moment, there hasn't been a great deal of opportunity for him to lead dives as much as we'd have liked. As part of our development plan, once new DMs have been certified, we support them through learning some of our most popular sites, increasing their awareness of marine life and improving their engagement with divers. This is always supported by one of our instructors all the way through. At the end, the new DM is ready to start leading dives solo. This week, Dean took his first solo lead at Sisters when he went diving with Al. We'd had some bad weather and the Viz was a bit meh, but the two of them had a great couple of dives and Dean was comfortably able to navigate his way back to the boat. Well done, Dean. the like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel. A couple of weeks ago, Nora and Dean took delivery of some new equipment, which they'd ordered way back in January. The centerpiece of that new delivery was Nora's new wetsuit and BCD. She upgraded from a jacket style BCD to a back inflate style, switching from a Cressy Aqua Ride to a Cressy Commander. She's done a few weeks of diving with a new BCD and really, really likes it. For those of you thinking about switching from a jacket to a back inflate style BCD, she's decided to do a little review of her BCD, which she's pulled together this week. Apparently, she wasn't as annoying as I was when I reviewed the Descent Mark II last month, but I'll put a link to the video here and let you see what her thoughts were. So we have a small floating jetty here at the dive shop, which we installed a couple of years ago um, with the intention of making it easier for us to load and unload the boat. Now it's a floating jetty because the bay we have here is north facing and during the winter months we can get some pretty significant swells coming in from the north which if we're not careful would badly damage any uh, fixed structure that we might have. The design though does require a fair bit of diligence and some maintenance too as the platforms move and pull against each other and the connecting chains can wear out and break. Uh, this week we have had a few days where it's been very rough out there with some pretty significant swells and the chain connecting to the pontoons together has uh, broken as well as we've come disconnected from our mooring. Um, so today we're going to go out and we're going to check over the jetty, see what needs to be done and um, hopefully get it fixed. Hey Alex, what you up to? Well, I'm just about to go out and look for one of our sand screws. Today, it looks like we've got absolutely gorgeous visibility out there. So I'm just about to go out there and do a little bit of snorkeling, which I'm very much looking forward to. And uh, we're going to put a marker um, on the sand screw when I find it so that we can be secure the jetty 
properly. Okay, so um, just about to head out now and uh, she'll be a little while. found it then yeah I literally I mean the visibility is so beautiful today I went out to the bit where I thought it was looked down and there it was sand screws sticking out nice and clear so I've uh, gone and secured the marker and uh, the next step now is to grab some new shackles and uh, tow the jetty and secure the chain back where it belongs so Dean and I um, also went out to fix the link between the two platforms, adding a new chain and putting a tyre type bumper in between the two to act as a shock absorber. It's quite physical work, needing the platform to be held together while someone threads the chain uh, and tightens it all together. But at the end of the day, the jetty is fixed, the mooring was found, and we're good to go again tomorrow. <laughs> as an orange man once said, Covid, 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 all we hear about is Covid. <laughs> but the truth is that the impact of Covid restrictions have affected us all during this festive period too. We've been really fortunate still because there haven't been any reported cases here in Karyaku. But just before Christmas there was an outbreak on mainland, so all of our Christmas plans had to be cancelled. We had to be inventive, use our initiative and come up with a new plan. So with our best MacGyver planning, we cracked out the barbecue, uh, raided the collector refrigerators and got together at the dive shop for another regular normal day. Alex and Dean rustled up the wherewithal for us to have home-baked barbecue pizza as our Christmas lunch. It was different, but as we all took work together anyway and have lunch every day, this fabulous lunch uh, fitted within the COVID restrictions uh, that were applied at the island at the time, so it was just perfect. For the New Year's, we had a curfew running till uh, 8 p.m. So we got together, had a talk, and thought about what we'd like to do to say goodbye to this emblematic year 2020. And with a very quick straw poll, we decided that we wanted to dive the troll. Perfect way to say goodbye to this 2020 down there in the deep. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like to get uh, notifications when we post something new, ring the bell icon. Bye.